Hey, hello there. So this week I'll be looking into some questions that can be efficiently solved by utilizing the union find or also known as the disjoint sets data structure. So since it's Monday, I'm doing a review about uh, this data structure rather than looking into the questions. Um, yeah, so let's get into the review. So union find is a data structure that keeps track of uh, a set a set of uh, elements that are partitioned into a number of uh, disjoint subsets. So it does so basically by maintaining a annotation for each individual element uh, with a, uh, another element from the same subset that uh, the element we're looking at. So um, this can be a little bit abstract, but the uh, uh, analogy that I use is that uh, imagine there are a bunch of people and there are a smaller number of uh, companies that uh, these people work for one person can only work for one company. And all he knows is that, uh, who is my boss? But now I'm asking the question around, uh, which company you work for? Or, or in, in this purpose, uh, in, this is, uh, in this analogy's uh, purpose, just that, who is the CEO of the company? And to answer the question, each person is just gonna ask his or her boss, uh, who is your boss? And uh, so basically relaying that question up, uh, the boss kind of query from the ground up to the top level. And uh, again, for this, for this uh, analogous purpose, the CEO works for himself, uh, not, not the stakeholders. Um, so the, when the query, boss query uh, goes all the way up, um, he knows that uh, he, he's, the, the information just gonna go backtracking all the way back down there. So every person updates their uh, who is my boss to be who is ultimately my final boss in the company. And he's go be able to answer the question, uh, which company uh, I work for. So that's in essentially what this uh, union fine is doing. Um, so it, it basically supports two operation, union and fine. For the fine operation, it's finding a subset that uh, element P belongs to. So that's equivalent to uh, saying, uh, asking a, a person which uh, company you work for. Uh, so that's uh, the fine operation. The union is basically merge the subsets containing both P and Q. Uh, it could be like, uh, you know, when somebody recruit a uh, or somebody to work for the company, uh, they uh, they do a union of those two people. Uh, so the newly recruit person will ultimately work for the CEO of the company. Uh, or it could be like uh, two company merge together. Uh, you know, one of the CEO is gonna report to the uh, you know the parent a bigger company, and uh, all his or her reports report chain is gonna be rewild to that uh, that. Uh, new CEO uh, you know, for the combined company. So so that's pretty much the union and find. Um, so in, in terms of the memory usage, because we annotate uh, the uh, each element, so it's uh, order of n with number of elements uh, in, the, in the problem, so that's the space complexity. For the find and union operations, uh, they are uh, about constant. It's not uh, exact constant. Um, there is this uh, whatever, uh, the, the a something um, function which I don't remember, but uh, the um, yeah the the takeaway is that uh, for the practical questions that again we can uh, care to deal with uh, the this are pretty much constant. Um, so 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 you, you can see that uh, if we um, use this, it's going to be pretty memory efficient and the space it's uh, pretty fast for the for the queries and unions operations that we want to do. So uh, one obvious usage for this is to find the connected components in a network, um, usually the undirected ne uh, networks. So we can basically treat nodes as elements and uh, treat their components as the disjoint subsets. So we can just, uh, for uh, iterating over all the edge lists and uh, union all those individual nodes, uh, in, the, in the end, we just query each single node, uh, which is your sort of like a component representative. Uh, so 
how many unique that uh, component uh, representative CEO names you collected. That's how many companies or connected components you have for, for the number of nodes in this graph. Uh, another usage is that uh, we can use Union Find to uh, do this uh, minimum spending tree kind of a, uh, algorithm. That's a uh, Kushka. Oh, sorry, this. I think this typo it should be K, right? Uh, anyway, it's uh, to find the minimum spanning tree for a graph. Um, I, I'm yet to encounter a actual question-only code that use this, uh, but uh, uh, maybe I can find some later on. Uh, okay. Uh, so here we talk about uh, a implementation in Python about uh, this uh, union find data structure. So if we uh, we have to initialize this with a, a given number of elements. So for each element, we're going to annotate uh, its uh, boss. Uh, so that's going to be a size of n here. And uh, also to facilitate this merge, we want to merge a smaller cluster, a smaller subset into the bigger one. Uh, if we you know, find that we by connecting two person, we can merge the two companies together, you know, the two CLs. Uh, we want to mer mer merge the smaller company into the bigger one, so that's why we keep a size uh, here. So that's uh, two linear kind of space uh, stuff that we use, two lists here, uh, two array, if you will. So t for the find operation, um, in the in the recursive version, it's just uh, for the person. Uh, I just want to find my boss. Uh, if my boss is not uh, his own boss, so meaning that uh, if the boss is not the CEO, uh, if the person that we're looking at is not the CEO, we want to do the query, the same query, uh, up, uh, to relay that query to uh, one, up one level. And we actually want to uh, you know, update uh, my knowledge of my boss to my boss's boss. Uh, so there, I, I guess there is a typo, this should be fine. Um, so, so in the way, in, in the end, uh, it's pretty much uh, um, every every person involved in this uh, boss finding pass will update uh, his own boss kind of annotation to be the CEO. So this is called uh, pass compression. Um, so that's in the iter uh, recursive kind of implementation. If it, you want to do this iteratively, it's uh, even more clear, uh, even though that code is. Uh, uh, a little bit more. So basically, uh, we found this uh, person. We are looking, asking the question, "Who is the CEO?" Uh, he's going. He's basically going all the way up to to the CEO itself. He he or himself. We keep track of that, and then we do a second pass from the queried person all the way up to the CEO. We're just gonna assign this uh, CEO name that we obtained to to that to annotate that person. Uh, so all the all the person along the way, uh, we update uh, his or her annotation about who is the actual boss, uh, fi ultimate boss for the company. So uh, in the end, we just return the CEO's name. So so this find uh, for a given person, it returns the CEO name. For the union, uh, we basically do is just. Uh, find the boss for the two person um, and if they happen to work for the same company uh, then there's nothing we need to do because they, they already merged together otherwise we basically find the smaller one and bigger one uh, based on the size information um, yeah based on size information and then uh, we put the uh, smaller company's CEO uh, to report to the big one and update uh, the size of the big company to you know to uh, add uh, the number of people work for the smaller one to that so it, it's a it's a merge there um, so that's the um, find and union you see that uh, this thing here uh, and this thing here is trying to make this uh, uh, you know, sort of like a reporting chain as flat as possible whenever we have a chance. Uh, so, so that's uh, why it, it can efficiently support this uh, fine and union uh, if we have to do this uh, over and over again because it's optimizing this annotation. Uh, so when when every single person they have the chance to update uh, their belief about uh, who is the 
CEO, he's gonna uh, do that whenever there is a chance. So, so that's pretty much uh, the union find with uh, this is called pass compression and uh, this is called union by size. Uh, so yeah, that's the implementation. Um, I, I should try to refresh this. Uh, actually, let me just uh, quickly fix uh, one of the problem here. This is fine. So let's talk about uh, quickly. Oh, it's too fast. Uh, I'm making a, a you know GIF, but it's too fast. So yeah, let's say that we have a bunch of nodes. Uh, so they have the parents and size annotation. So just looking at the edge list, uh, we're gonna process this pair by pair by union them all together. And uh, this animation actually just shows how the parent annotation uh, changes over time and how the size information annotation changes over time. So you can see that uh, um, after we basically union uh, done all the union operations for the you know the, you know person A works for person one, person one works for person two, uh, you know the sort of like uh, you know, uh, uh, processing like that. Uh, if, if if the final kind of uh, uh, graph looked like this, uh, so the there are three different companies. The first company, uh, person zero four three two, they all work for. They they all know that the, the CEO, uh, the representative for this uh, subset, the company is uh, person one, uh, and the size of this particular company is five five person. Uh, so the second company here. Uh, is five eight they work for person six and the company size is three uh, the last the company uh, only two person seven and nine and the company size is two so the sub size is two so after we uh, pretty much perform all the union um, we can quickly check for which company the uh, any given person works for by looking up uh, the doing the find operation to look up uh, the number here we have a three distinct value one six and nine and also we also get the, the uh, company size uh, in, in this size information so it's a uh, pretty handy uh, uh, if we apply union find to uh, to this uh, edge list kind of uh, input of the graph uh, so here is just uh, how how this uh, you know animation and the, this parent and size information are generated. Uh, if I initialize this union find data structure with n equal to ten, and just uh, union all this uh, iteratively in in a sequence, and in the end, uh, note that uh, I can just return the distinct number uh, in this parent uh, array. Uh, we have one, six, and nine. That will be in our uh, you know, size of the uh, number of a uh, connected component inside this graph, and also we got the, the size of the component here, uh, five, three, and two. Uh, also, it can help us to answer the question: uh, if we want to make this whole thing a single connected components, how many kind of uh, connections we want to do? Uh, that would be maybe connecting one to nine and uh, six to nine, two connections. We got uh, three components. That's uh, that's an easy question. It's just, it should just be the number of components subtracted by one. Um, yeah, so that's uh, a uh, not very successful demonstration illustration about uh, how the union union operation works and how that uh, pass compression is changing. Uh, you know, the zero is knows one is sparse, uh, two knows one is sparse, three knows two is sparse, but then during the pass compression. Uh, it only remembers that uh, one is his boss. Uh, for four, it's the same situation. It should connect to three, uh, but then he finds that uh, you know one is the ultimate boss. So the only thing that he remembers is that one is the CEO. So that's uh, uh, that's the uh, how the past compression is changing. So this uh, this organization chart is pretty flat as a result. So uh, a final note on the. This is typo, uh, Kushkar, I guess, I think, uh, algorithm. It's basically uh, to have a graph and the edge has a weight. We want to find the minimum number of weights uh, that incurred uh, in terms of uh, to connect uh, the uh, nodes into a single connected components. 
So we want everything to be connected uh, with as little, uh, as less weight on the edge as possible. So the way we do that is to sort the edges based on the weight and uh, iterating over the edges, trying to unify nodes uh, if they do not belong to the same subset. subset. Uh, because if they belong to the subset, it just uh, incur uh, unnecessary weight. So we're just gonna go over this edge list, the sorted edge list, uh, from the smallest weight to the largest weight. And whenever we can actually uh, use an edge to uh, merge to diff different two different subsets, we're gonna opt to use that edge because that's the smallest cost that we can have to merge those two. So it's a little bit greedy. Uh, we repeat this process until that uh, every node uh, belongs to a single con component or it could be that uh, there's no edges that we can use. So, uh, you know, there are gonna be some uh, isolated nodes there, but we connected as, as, most, uh, as many as possible uh, with the uh, smallest uh, possible total cost. So that's uh, the, uh, the algorithm to solve this minimum spanning tree problem. And also, obviously you can see that uh, uh, it's trying to use the edge that uh, unifies unions the two nodes and uh, for the edge that we look at we also want to see uh, does it really adds value to in terms of the connectivity we can do so by just doing the find queries for the two nodes on each side if they already belongs to the same uh, components then we opt not to use this edge so that's uh, how to use this um, yeah I, I believe i made a typo uh, yeah i'm gonna correct this and uh, push this onto github so yeah looking forward to some questions on union find later this week so that's uh, the review for this